Have you ever wondered why people black out after drinking alcohol? This occurrence, known as an alcohol-induced blackout, is far from rare. It's a phenomenon experienced by many, from occasional drinkers to those who indulge more frequently. The mystery of these blackouts lies in how alcohol interacts with our brain, leading to a temporary lapse in memory. A variety of factors contribute to these blackouts. The amount of alcohol consumed, the speed of consumption, even our genetics can play a role. But it's not just about how much you drink, it's also about how your body processes alcohol. Imagine a night out with friends, you're having fun, enjoying a few drinks, then the next morning you wake up with no recollection of the night before. It's as if those memories have vanished into thin air. So, how exactly does this happen? Let's dive into the science behind it. To understand blackouts, we need to understand how alcohol affects our brains. Once consumed, alcohol is quickly absorbed into the bloodstream and makes its way to the central nervous system, including our brain. Here, alcohol has wide-ranging effects, but let's focus on its impact on memory formation. Our brains are wonderfully intricate machines. The hippocampus, a small, seahorse-shaped region, plays a pivotal role in transforming our daily experiences into long-term memories. It's like the brain's scribe, diligently recording everything so we can recall it later. However, when alcohol enters the picture, this process can get a bit fuzzy. Alcohol acts as a depressant on the central nervous system, slowing down the brain's functions and altering its communication pathways. Think of it as a mail system. Normally, the hippocampus is like a diligent postmaster, sorting and sending off memories in neat packages to be stored in various parts of the brain. But when alcohol is in your system, it's like a snowstorm hitting the post office. The mail, or in this case the memories, get delayed, lost, or even fail to be sent off entirely. This disruption in the memory-making process is what leads to blackouts. Now, the more alcohol in your bloodstream, the bigger the snowstorm, and the more likely you are to experience a blackout. But it's important to note that blackouts aren't a sign of how much fun you're having, but rather a signal that your brain is struggling to do its job. It's a clear sign that the alcohol is interfering with your hippocampus and its ability to form new memories. And while it might seem like a harmless, even humorous consequence of a night out, repeated blackouts can lead to long-term damage to the brain, affecting not just memory but also decision-making and impulse control. So, alcohol impacts our memory formation but not all blackouts are the same. Indeed, there are different types of blackouts, each with its own characteristics and risks, but that's a topic for the next scene. For now, remember this, when it comes to alcohol and your brain, it's a fine line between a memorable night and a memory lost. Did you know there are two types of alcohol-induced blackouts? Yes, indeed, they're called fragmentary and on-block blackouts. Let's delve into what these terms mean and how they differ. Fragmentary blackouts, also known as brownouts, are characterized by memory lapses where a person can't recall specific details or events. Imagine this, you're at a party, having a few drinks, and the next day you have a fuzzy memory of the evening. You vaguely remember chatting with your friends, but the details are hazy, that's a fragmentary blackout. During these episodes, memory isn't entirely lost. With cues or reminders, some information can often be retrieved. On the other hand, on-block blackouts are more severe. They involve complete memory loss for a period of time. Someone who experiences an on-block blackout can't recall any details, even when provided with cues. Think about it like this. You're at the same party, you have several drinks, and the next day you wake up with no memory of the night before. You don't remember who you spoke to, what you did, or even how you got home. That's an on-block blackout. The difference between these two types of blackouts isn't just in the degree of memory loss. It's also about the amount of alcohol consumed. Fragmentary blackouts are typically associated with moderate drinking over a longer period, while on-block blackouts are more likely to occur when a large amount of alcohol is consumed in a short time, causing blood alcohol concentration to spike quickly. But remember, the exact amount of alcohol that leads to blackouts can vary widely from person to person. Factors like body weight, tolerance, drinking history, and even genetics can play a role. Regardless of the type, blackouts can pose severe risks. They are a clear sign of problematic drinking and can lead to dangerous situations. So, understanding these concepts is not just about knowing the science, it's about making informed decisions for our health and safety. Blackouts are more than just forgetting, they can have serious consequences. The risks associated with blackouts are far-reaching, and they extend beyond the realm of memory loss. 
When a blackout occurs, your ability to make sound decisions is severely hampered. This impairment of judgment can lead to risky behavior, such as reckless driving or engaging in unsafe activities, which can result in serious injury or even fatality. Another troubling risk associated with blackouts is the potential for engaging in behavior that you may not remember but could have significant repercussions. This includes actions like unplanned and unprotected sexual activity, which can lead to unwanted pregnancies or sexually transmitted infections. Moreover, blackouts are not benign events. They signal that your brain is being exposed to levels of alcohol that can cause damage. Over time, repeated blackouts can lead to long-term health issues, such as cognitive impairment and brain damage. Alcohol is particularly harmful to the hippocampus, the part of the brain responsible for forming memories. Chronic heavy drinking can result in a reduced hippocampus size, which can lead to persistent issues with memory and learning. To add to the concern, research suggests that individuals who experience blackouts are more likely to develop alcohol use disorders. This is a serious mental health condition characterized by an inability to stop or control alcohol use despite its negative impact on one's life. However, it's important to remember that blackouts are preventable. Understanding your limits when it comes to alcohol consumption is key. Not everyone who drinks will experience a blackout. It's often a result of consuming alcohol too quickly or drinking on an empty stomach. These are factors you can control. In conclusion, blackouts are a serious consequence of excessive drinking. They pose immediate risks such as injury and impaired judgment and long-term health issues like cognitive impairment and the potential development of alcohol use disorders. It's critical to be aware of these risks, but it's even more important to know how to avoid them. Avoiding blackouts starts with responsible drinking. This isn't just about keeping count of your drinks, it's about understanding your body and knowing your limits. So let's dive into some useful tips to help you navigate the waters of alcohol consumption responsibly. First and foremost, pace yourself. Alcohol isn't a race and there's no prize for finishing first. Slow down, take your time, and savor your drink. This allows your body to metabolize the alcohol at a manageable pace and reduces the likelihood of a blackout. Next, we have hydration. Alcohol is a diuretic, which means it prompts your body to lose more water. This can lead to dehydration, a key contributor to hangovers. So, intersperse your alcoholic drinks with water or non-alcoholic beverages. This not only keeps you hydrated, but also helps to dilute the alcohol in your system. Now let's talk about food. Drinking on an empty stomach is a surefire way to fast-track alcohol into your bloodstream. So, make sure you've had a good meal before you start drinking. Foods rich in proteins and fats are particularly good as they slow down the absorption of alcohol. Another important factor is awareness. Be aware of what you're drinking and how much of it. Mixed drinks can be deceptive, often containing more alcohol than you might think. And remember, alcohol affects everyone differently. What might be okay for your friend may not be okay for you. Lastly, don't hesitate to seek help if you're having trouble controlling your alcohol consumption. There's no shame in reaching out and there are numerous resources available to assist you. So the next time you're out with your friends or enjoying a quiet evening at home, keep these tips in mind. Be mindful of your drinking habits, not just for yourself, but for the people around you too. Remember the key to enjoying alcohol is moderation and responsibility, because ultimately you want to remember the good times, not wake up wondering what happened. Understanding alcohol-induced blackouts can help us make better decisions about our drinking habits. We've delved into how alcohol affects our brain, particularly the hippocampus, disrupting our ability to form new memories. We've differentiated between fragmentary and on-block blackouts, each with its unique characteristics yet both equally disconcerting. We've also taken a hard look at the factors that increase the risk of experiencing blackouts and the potential consequences these episodes may engender. And of course, we've shared tips for drinking responsibly because knowledge is power, and power, when used wisely, can shield us from harm. We hope this video has shed light on the often overlooked aspects of alcohol consumption and has equipped you with the necessary understanding to make informed choices. If you found this video informative, please subscribe and like. And remember, always drink responsibly.